macronutrients are the inorganic molecules that our body requires in greater amount so today we'll discuss about two such macronutrients which is very essential for our body calcium and sodium now calcium is very important for the formation of bones and teeth it also provides strength to both the bones and the teeth so lack of calcium will cause deformities in the bone as well as deformities in the teeth now another important function of calcium is that it stops bleeding that is it helps in the clotting of blood if you cut your hand or you have a bruise where blood is oozing out and if you have sufficient amount of calcium in your body the blood flow will stop that is the blood won't ooze out any more because calcium helps in the clotting of blood thus excess of blood loss won't happen so these are the variety of food that contains a lot of calcium in them milk is the best source of calcium along with broccoli and nuts and cheese if you uh, intake all these food you will get sufficient amount of calcium in your body and calcium is very important for a healthy body now we've often seen players and athletes take frequent drink breaks so what do they drink well they often drink gatorades or similar drinks that contain a lot of minerals in them if they do not have this mineral drink their muscles cramp now while doing rigorous exercises or very difficult physical labor we all sweat now along with sweat water and sodium is lost from our body and that is why sweat has a very salty taste because it also contains sodium along with water now sodium is very important for the transport of impulses in the neurons and you know that muscles help us with our movement so these neurons which transport the signals they tell the muscle when to contract and when to relax and that facilitates movement in our body now in the lack of sodium or if, if you do not have sufficient amount of sodium in your body there will be problems in the flow of information through the neurons so a muscle which is contracted will not have further contractions because of lack of sodium and that gives a cramp to the players because there is no sodium left in the body which is very important for contraction or which is very uh, which is responsible for the contraction of muscles now sweat consists of majorly water but it also contains a small amount of sodium before sweating the iron concentration of fluid present inside the cell and outside the cell remains constant and therefore there is no feeling of thirst but as soon as we start sweating we start to feel very thirsty now why does this happen see the water molecules always move from higher concentration area towards the low concentration area when these are separated by a semi permeable membrane and this process is known as osmosis now sweat is given off by the fluid that is present outside the cell 
Now, as we know, sweat consists of majorly water and lesser amounts of iron. So, after sweating, this fluid that is present outside the cell will have lesser amount of water and greater amounts of iron. Now, notice carefully, the water content in the cell is still in abundance. So, because of osmosis, this water is drawn out of the cells, see, and so the cells become dehydrated and there is a feeling of thirst. So, because we feel thirsty, we drink water and the water content in the cell is again replenished and that is how the water balance is maintained in the body. So, the functions of sodium are muscle contraction and relaxation. It helps in the flow of impulses and information through the neurons. That it helps, that is, it helps in the flow of neuronal information. And it also maintains the water balance in our body. Because sodium is responsible for giving us the feeling of thirst when we sweat a lot. So the best source of sodium is of course plain salt because salt contains a lot of sodium in it. Also tinned fish and processed meat are also good sources of sodium. So sodium is a very essential nutrient which we require in our body for a healthy living. 